So this is the third example question from my partial pressure questions. Uh, it's in www.goprocaribbean.com slash dive dash physics dash three. That is the density and partial pressure section because these two things are very closely related. So uh, in this one, what we're actually doing is the way the question has been changed subtly is that uh, the question uh, doesn't have a diver that is breathing air. The diver is breathing nitrox 32, so you need to know a little bit about nitrox. Um, basically, the number after the word nitrox tells you the percentage of oxygen in the blend. So a diver breathing nitrox 32 is breathing 32% oxygen. So that is the information we would need to use. Um, we would write 0.32, 32% as a decimal under step one of our calculation. So now we've got that there. Always step two of these things is to decide whether we multiply or divide. If the question is about partial pressure, you always multiply. So it's uh, very easy with partial pressure questions. Just always multiply. Remember that. And step three, we need to look at the depth the diver is at. They're at 33 meters in this question. They're in salt water. And we need to write the pressure that we would be under at 33 meters of salt water under step three. So that pressure would be 4.3 atmospheres. And we now have our calculation. 0 0.32 multiplied by 4.3 gives us 1.376. Uh, that is very close to the maximum depth at which you could breathe nitrox 32. You should never plan a nitrox dive to exceed an oxygen partial pressure of 1.4 atmospheres. So there's a lot more quizzes, practice questions, instructional videos and notes on my website. Uh, please go ahead and like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you found these videos useful, the best thing you could do to help me is if you have a blog, uh, link to my website.